Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to find the solution of this nonlinear equation, so from this given, using the substitution method, so first, we need to isolate one variable. So using this equation, we can isolate x or isolate y. So to isolate x, divide both sides by y. So cancel, so therefore, x is equal to 20 over y. Then substitute this equation to the first equation. So replace this x. So this equation becomes x and x is 20 over y. So this becomes 20 over y, then to the power 2, then plus, bring down this y squared, then equals 41. Then simplify, so distribute this exponent to both sides. So this 20 squared and 20 squared is 400. So that's 20 times 20, then over this y squared, so over y squared, then plus y squared equals 41. Then simplify this equation, so we need to omit this denominator by multiplying this whole equation by this denominator. So multiply y squared, then distribute to every term. So this y squared times 400 over y squared. So just cancel this y squared. So this becomes 400. Then to this term, so y squared times y squared. So plus y to the power 4. Then equals to this term, so 41 times y squared, that's 41y to the power 2. Then equate this equation to 0, so transpose this positive 41y squared to the left side. So arrange now this equation, so starts with the highest exponent, so that's y to the power 4. And this positive 41y squared becomes negative 41y squared, then plus 400, then equals 0. Then on this case, to find the solution of this equation, so we can use the factoring, so equal 0. And for this y to the power 4, that's y squared and y squared. Then for this positive 400, so we have positive 400 since positive. So it can be all positive or all negative. But since the middle term is negative, so therefore the factors are all negative. So factors of this positive 400 that when you add, the answer is negative 41. So again, all negative. So you can have negative 25 times negative 16. Because this negative 25 times negative 16 equals that's positive 400 and when you add these two numbers negative 25 plus negative 16 equals negative 41 and that's the middle term so therefore this one is negative 25 and negative 16 then equate these factors to zero so we have y squared minus 25 equals 0. Then the other one, so y squared minus 16 
equal zero, then to solve for y, so we have y squared equals transpose this negative 25, so that becomes positive 25. Then to solve for y, so take the square root, so therefore y is equal to, so in this case, the square root of 25, that's positive and negative 5. So therefore, y is equal to 5. And the other one, y is equal to negative 5. Then for this factor, so y squared equals transpose this negative 16, that's positive 16. Then take the square root, so therefore y is equal to positive and negative 4. So therefore y is equal to positive 4. And the other one, y equals negative 4. Then take note that we have 4 values for y. Because the degree of the exponent is 4. Then to solve for x, so solve for x from this equation that x equals 20 over y. So from x equals 20 over y. So let's start at y equals positive 5. So we have x equals 20 over 5. So therefore x is equal to positive 4. Then at y equals negative 5. So we have x equals 20 over negative 5, so x equals negative 4. Then at y equals positive 4, so we have this positive 4 and negative 4, so we have x equals 20 over 4. So therefore, x is equal to positive 5. Then the last one, so at y equals negative 4. So we have x equals 20 over negative 4. So x equals negative 5. So to write now the solution of this nonlinear equation, so if x is positive 4, y is positive 5, then if x is negative 4, y is negative 5, and also if x is positive 5, y is positive 4. Then the last one, if x is negative 5, y is negative 4. So these are the solution of the given nonlinear equation.